What's new and exciting is I'm working on these series over here. I'm including these images while still painting spontaneously, so I do preparation work beforehand. A lot of these older works, I experiment with different types of brushes. Uh, for instance, this one is pieces of bark, twigs, different types of reeds. This one, you can see there's a lot of variety of, of, of the marks. Lots of different tools, so that, that we get a, a, a variety of the character of marks. Here's one I want to point out, though, because this is sort of the transition to the other ones. So I experimented with um, a brush that's ball beads, uh, like a chain you wear around your neck for a dog tag. But I wanted to reintroduce some imagery in it. Um, this is this this is also an image to me. This pattern is an image to me, and I try to paint it so that it comes to a certain kind of uh, opening or a certain kind of depth uh, so that it vibrates in a certain way. It's like a musical note that's palatable. But I've picked sort of images that are uh, very much have a boundary or mathematical, at least, in, at least for now, and that also have a sense of depth. For instance, this is a tunnel. This is obviously like columns going in. In this one, I want to draw the viewer in so then they can look up there and then see the richness there is already in this thing. And that's again the pattern having meaning on its own rather than being a texture for a background. That's a good. <laughs> Big answer.